These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hey, good Thursday morning to you. I'm Amelia Fabiano with your top stories here from ABC 15 Arizona. Fans going wild during round one of the boys basketball 4A state tournament there. Combs High School playing ALA Gilbert North. Many in the stands you'll notice wearing orange in honor of Preston Lord who died at a Halloween party. He was a member of the Combs Coyotes. Preston's teammates dedicating their season to him, even placing his jersey on the sidelines at every single game. ABC 15 speaking exclusively with the coach and two players this morning thanking the community. It means so much. It it's like not you can't even express in words. It's so so like filling your heart with that joy and it's all for him. So much support. I'm so happy that I had everyone to support me because me personally I was going through so much and just to have coach Graham and my teammates and my family help me through it. It just basketball itself has been so therapeutic. This is an experience that we will all never forget and will carry with us for the rest of We will remain families wherever they go. We will remain a family. This is something that they'll tell their kids about this season, this season. This marks the end of their season. The Combs Coyotes may not have gotten the win, but this is the furthest the boys basketball team has come in a season in recent years. Happening today, state regulators are expected to vote on a rate hike for Arizona Public Service customers. APS is trying to increase residential bills by on average 11%. The president of APS says current rates are based on 2018 levels and increased rates would go towards investing in the grid. Well, whether you eat at home or go out, the cost of food continues to rise here in the U.S. According to the U.S. Labor Department, people are now spending about 11.3 percent of their disposable income on food, the largest increase in 30 years. Next time you check those bags at the airport, make sure you really check the price. American Airlines is the latest to increase baggage fees when you fly with them. Just before spring break kicks off, the airline increased baggage fees. The first check bag online ahead of time will now cost $35, up from $30, the first increase since 2018. But travel experts say don't let the extra baggage fees bog you down. There is some good news, too. You look at the price of airfare over the past 10 years, airfares are down about 15%. She says trends show many airlines are moving towards an unbundling approach to travel. She also says you can save money by checking bags online ahead instead of at the airport where prices go up even more. All right. You got a late night cookie craving? I always do. <laughs> There's a new sweet spot for you now. Eclipse Cookies and Coffee Bar is open overnight from 4 p.m. to 10 the next morning. They run a cookie bar where you can choose everything, your dough, your toppings, and it all comes from a secret family recipe. As I got older, I was like, you know, you should, you should sell these or like we should do something with it. And eventually I was finally just like, okay, well, I'm going to try and do it. So will you, will you teach me? And he was all for it. You can find it near the intersection of McKellips and Country Club just off the Loop 202. For more details, head to abc15.com slash things to do. All right, the wait is over. In just a few hours, spring training is going to get underway. The Padres and Dodgers are facing off. That starts at 1.10 this afternoon. Meantime, our D-backs still have one more day of practice. Their first spring game is tomorrow against the Rockies. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Samrosio. We are warming things back up to wrap up the week. Temperatures today still in the mid-70s, but tomorrow we're back into the 80s. In northern Arizona, we'll be climbing to 40s today, 50s tomorrow for spots like Flagstaff. Temperatures are trending up through the end of the week, and then they'll climb even further this weekend. Look at these highs. We're almost near 60 in spots like Flagstaff by Sunday. Sedona getting warmer, too. And here in Phoenix, our temperatures could go to the highest levels we've seen so far this year. So far, the highest temperature we've seen is 82. That's where we could end up by Saturday, but by Sunday, we're looking for a high of 84 degrees. High pressure building in. That's what's warming things up across the state. But then we've got our eyes on another storm system, too, in fact, that will work their way towards our state Monday and move in on Tuesday. Those storms will bring more rain and snow chances back for the valley. It looks like our best potential will come Monday night and throughout the day on Tuesday. And in the high country, we'll see scattered showers on Monday, then more snow on Tuesday. We start to dry things out by the middle of the week. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download our free ABC 15 mobile app. 
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.